Hey everybody, I'm very excited today for another unboxing. This is the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. So the reason I'm so excited is because um, I feel like a lot are because I obviously get my hands on a lot of Chinese smartphones and I think a lot of them are just being really lazy with the design. It The phone just looks you know, very plain and basic, like the Verni Mars Pro or the Umi Digi. There's nothing really unique about those phones. So Meizu, I'm already excited about this phone because it's trying something new. Just the fact that if you're a phone company and you're trying something new, I respect that. That's why I didn't like the iPhone 7 Plus so much because it's like the same shit we've already seen. And that's why I thought the Google Pixel was really boring too. Like. I just feel like you you have to try something new if you're a phone company because there's so many phones out there and that's why I always respect LG for putting out phones that are different like the like when the LG V10 came out that was completely different from everything else on the market but anyway I'm going on a tangent so this is the Meizu Pro 7 Plus the packaging is really nice so yeah even the packaging itself is is a lot better than other Chinese companies for example let me show you Okay, so I don't want to single out Liegu, but every every um, mid-tier Chinese phone company ships in a box like this. And then every phone basically looks like this now. The Liegu T5. Like the Verni Mars Pro, the Umi Digi Z1 Pro. All the phones look like this now. It's just, you know, it's, it's a little boring. Now granted, these phones are so cheap, I can't really fault them. They're, they're like... 180 bucks or 200 bucks. So anyway, back to the Meizu Pro 7. This is really cool. So the box opens like this. Wow. I'm gonna keep this box to like store my pencils or files or something. How do you open it? Okay, so you open it. No, I think you pull here. There's a little tab. Wow, okay. This is a very unique way to unbox a phone. So you pull the tab to slide it out. Ooh, and I'm liking this black too. So I guess you're not supposed to open this side. I don't know, you are. So then you're supposed to open. Here, let's see what's in there. Oh, nice. So you are getting a case for this phone. I think this is a first for Meizu. I'm, I've tested quite a few Meizu phones in the past and they did not come with a case. And this is a nice, a nice plastic case. It's not the really soft rubber ones. This is, I believe, a USB-C cable. Yep. Papers. Anyway, put this to the side. And let's see what's in here. Charger. And, okay, there's nothing in here. So, I'm assuming this is supposed to be for the earpiece, but they decided not to give you earpiece, which is fine. Because you know what, if, if you, I'm familiar with Chinese manufacturing, and let me tell you, ear pieces like earphones, they cost nothing, they're worthless. Like, So don't fall for it when Samsung tells you that, um, when people tell you that the Samsung Galaxy S8's earbuds cost like 99 US dollars, it's bullshit. It costs like maybe $3 to make in China. Because if you go to a Shenzhen market, you see these earbuds just lying all over the street to just, you can just get them for free. They're, they're worthless. Okay, so I'm really liking this matte black feel and the screen. Dual cameras right here. So, not much of a camera bump. It's pretty flat. This is a beautiful phone. I wish the bezels were the slim bezels, but I, that's probably asking for too much because Meizu, you know, it's not a, it's it's still a, a mid-range Chinese phone company. Okay, let me power this on. I'm gonna try to power on and see if anything lights up in the back. Okay, it does. So you see a little Meizu in the back, in the front too.
Really nice. So much like all the phones of 2017, the antenna lines are well hidden. It's kind of funny how it took like three years for companies to figure out you can hide antenna lines like this. Because remember when the iPhone 6 came out and then the HTC, um, the M10 or, or whatever, A10, like they all had that really visible antenna line they ran across. And, and Amazing was actually the first phone to pioneer this antenna line. So people give credit to Apple, Meizu did it first with the MX, MX6, I think. I did a review of that too. The antenna line's curved up like this. And then now everyone does it and it looks, you know, and then if you make the phone black too, then it, it's not that noticeable. So anyway. Okay, so I'm assuming... All right, let me set up the phone. I'll be back. All right, hey everybody, I'm back. So I finished setting up the phone. I've played around for a little bit. And man, I'm really liking the phone. It's it's really fun. Like, just kudos to Meiju for doing something different. So let's get right away to the second screen. So as you can see, it's always on, although you can set it so that it's not always on, that you have to double tap to activate. But right now the screen is off. The second screen is on, but you swipe to the right, there's a pedometer. So it shows how many steps you were walking. And I think this is the weather. I haven't set that up yet. But then if you swipe down, it goes into the camera. So you can use this camera as your selfie camera. Now I'm not a big selfie person because obviously I'm not a photogenic dude. But if you're like, you know, if, if you're like one of those Instagram model types that always love to have your picture taken, this is amazing. You can take a selfie and see exactly how your selfie is gonna look like. So So you tap on the screen to, to take the picture and you swipe down here, you get different filters. So this is original beauty. So I guess it slims my face and blur. So I guess this is bokeh effect. I don't really see, let's see if the bokeh effect works. Okay. <clears throat> let's check out the photos. So this is shot with the bokeh effect. It looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, the focus is here, so it blurs me out a little bit. This is the selfie taking with the lens. See, this is why I don't like selfies, man. When you look like this, you don't like taking selfies. All right, I'll get to that later. So I tested the I tested the main camera out, like shooting the normal way. So this is another bokeh effect mode. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, not quite as good as the one plus five the effect, but. It's it's a lot more natural than say on like the Maze Alpha or the or the any of the Doogie phones. Here's another bokeh shot. I think the effect is quite good. Like the blur actually got it right. It it didn't cover the edges. <clears throat> and just a sample shot outside my window. This is my stock go-to shot, but details are good. Like you know, you, you can see this building's really far from where I am. It's like, it's like maybe like, I want to say like two, 200 feet. <clears throat> and also check out the low light. So I took this in my room, in my, in my living room door right now with the lights off. And it's only, you know, there's not a lot of sun, sunlight in my living room. So the photos, it's not, there's not a lot of lighting basically. But so this is how it turned out on the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. And this is how it turned out on the Maze Alpha. Look at how much darker it is. So um, it's like night and day. I also took it on the Samsung Galaxy S8. So not quite, um, the Samsung Galaxy S8 obviously is the best camera of the bunch. But you know, this is a bit artificial actually, because in real life, it does definitely doesn't look this bright. It, this is a really good representation. And it, the lighting, the details are actually quite good. Like the, the dog, his color, Accuracy is actually a lot better than on the Samsung where it's a little bit washed out So I just played around the phone a little bit. I also like that there's stereo speakers, so So the speaker grill down here that you cover it You still hear sounds because there's sounds from here. It's a little bit tinny, but it is stereo Okay, so another thing I really like about Meizu phones, and I've written about this before, is I really like that they innovated this button that can um, basically work as the... 
that can double as this home button or the back button. <clears throat> so how it works is, let's click into an Instagram story. So if I tap the button, it goes back. Click into Instagram story, if I press the button, it goes home. This is something that Meizu pioneered and they were doing first before everybody. Because now Huawei has a version of this and uh, the Maze Alpha also has a version of this too where you, you tap to go back or you long press to go home. <clears throat> I think this version is really good. The, um, the setup is it's really clever. It just you know does away with the need for three buttons. And if you want to bring up recent apps, you just swipe from the bottom. So as you can see, the screen is the screen is really good, except that um, you know, other than the bezels being not up to two thousand eight uh, seventeen standards, but <laughs> so I download device info to check out the specs. So um, media, this phone has a MediaTek six seven nine nine chip. <clears throat> with. Quad HD, so the display is 5.7 inch Quad HD, 640 DPI, that is really dense. And there's 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gig, um, 6, 55 gigs of internal storage. I'm assuming 64, but the software takes up a bunch. But 6 gigs of RAM, the battery is, let me, the battery is 3,500 milliamps. So not huge, but should be good enough for the screen. So I believe this display is AMOLED. This is the Pro 7 Plus, is the more expensive version. So I, it sells for uh, US 530, 530 US dollars. The, the weaker version, the Pro 7, sells for 430. So the, the Pro 7 will just have a 1080p display instead of Quad HD and four gigs of RAM. And the process is a little bit older. It's the Helio P25. This is the Helio P30, AKA the MediaTek. So if there's anything you want to know about this phone, please. Oh, I wanted to show you, I forgot, um, the camera app. So the camera app has these ridiculous uh, makeup filters. As you can see, you can turn, uh, so this is a camera software, you can turn on secondary display at the same time. So, so I don't know how this would work. So that means when you're taking photos, people in the back can see the photo you're taking. And then, so up here there's a lot of settings. So this is bokeh effect. HDR, this is, um, I'm assuming this is filter. Yeah, filters. And right here is the make, uh, makeup mode, a pro, manu this is manual control, time lapse, panorama, you can make a GIF. Makeup mode, makeup mode is the funky one. So you can add these filters that immediately changes how your face looks. So apologies for putting my face on again. So this is, I, I took this normally, this is a normal picture. And then I hit that makeup filter and then immediately slim my face and put on lipstick on my lips. Sorry, this is a scary ass photo. I will delete that shit off my phone right away. I don't um but yeah, so this is the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. Kudos to Meizu for doing something different because I'm just kinda tired of every phone looking the same. Like you have to stand out if you make if you're releasing a phone to on seventeen. And this definitely stands out. Okay, if there's anything more you want to know, please let me know. I will have a video with you in maybe a week. And in the meantime, I will also do more coverage of this phone on Forbes. I, have, um, I write for Forbes, so please check out my page if you're interested. Thank you for watching.